doing something different this week. That is an all-electric scooter. I've never actually ridden a scooter before, so this will be an adventure. We'll crack into that very shortly. Price and range, however, this is the InMotion Air Pro, and it will set you back nothing. Yep, nothing, free. We're giving this one away. Well, a new one anyway. Stay tuned for that. As for price and range, if you want to buy it new, it's $1,399. For that, you get 40 kilometers out of a charge, which is more than the average Kiwi takes their car each day. However, how does it compare to a bus, and is it faster than public transport? Let's find out. And we are off. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've been on a scooter since about 1985. Now, my mission today is to leave Auckland's Cox's Bay, which is where I am right now, named after Courtney Cox from Friends. And I'm going to be heading five kilometers into the city center. Now this should be a good challenge. Now, if I were to take a bike, on the plus side, I could use the bike lanes, which I can't use on this. But the bike lanes don't go anywhere near anywhere I am right now, like most Aucklanders. The bike paths would take me well around where I want to go. However, with a scooter, well, I have the advantage of being able to go pretty much as the crow flies, whichever way I want to go. It's basically the freedom of walking or jogging without the agony of walking or jogging. So it sounds good to me already. Now I've got my finger hard down on the throttle right now because we're going up quite a steep hill and it's struggling. Well, this footpath is rubbish. I'm going to stop and pop it into sport mode, which I can do by double tapping the button. There we go. Oh, wow. Far out. This thing is a rocket ship. Okay, footpath's closed here. Oh, gosh, this is a bumpy footpath. Oh, this road is so much smoother. All right, I'm gonna stick to the footpaths though because I am, oh, that's not helpful. Okay, that's one problem already of taking the footpaths is that there's cars parked on them. Okay, what I'd also like to do on this journey is compare this to the different methods of transport that I could use to get from Cox's Bay all the way into the Ecotricity offices in central Auckland. Now, if I were to walk, for example, this distance of five kilometers, would take about one hour. If I were to take a bike, then I'm probably looking at about 30 minutes. There's only two real cycle paths I could choose, however, using Auckland cycle paths, uh, and neither of them go anywhere near where I am. That's the problem with cycle paths, that there still aren't enough of them. However, if I were to take public transport, well, you'd be looking at about 40 minutes. So my mission is to see if I can beat that on an electric scooter. I should point out that I'm not a qualified scooterologist. I don't really know anything about scooters, so I had to do some research for this. See, when the office suggested, oh, Gav, you should do a review of a scooter, the image in my mind was one of those little platforms of death with thimbles for wheels. But this thing, this thing's pretty decent. I could see people using these more often because, well, it goes everywhere you need to go. And I just realized I've stopped to press the button here, but on a scooter, you can actually technically use the road and the footpath. So I could cheat and just use the road. I just don't know if I'm mentally ready. The problem is I have allergies. When I get hit by a car, I break out in a rash. Now to get on, you're supposed to put your right leg on first and then leave room for your left leg. And this scooter won't engage unless it's moving. You can't start off from standstill with the accelerator. And it's doing a great job. And while we're now in Jervois Road, enjoying the sights and sounds, let me tell you a little bit about this scooter. It is an InMotion Air Pro, which is very kindly being given away by the electricscootershop.co.nz. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check it out at your leisure, see all the cool gadgetry they've got, and they've got more than just scooters. Despite the name, electricscootershop.co.nz has bucket loads of actual like road going stuff, mountain bikes, like dirt bikes, all running on batteries. It's insane stuff. Okay, now as for this one, there are two flavors of the InMotion scooter. There is the Air Pro, which is this one, and then there is the Air, which is basically the same thing, but not quite as grunty. And that's basically the only real difference is the power. As for power output, this Air Pro has a 400 watt electric motor driving the rear wheel. However, it does peak at 750 watts, which is a ridiculous amount of power for such a light 17 kilogram device. It's insane. I love being able to ride on the footpath because I can go at my own speed, which is admittedly quite slow. I've got to say the houses around here are really nice. Everyone wants to move to this part of Auckland around Cox's Bay. Who would have thought wealthy Aucklanders love Cox this much? This thing is surprisingly easy to operate. 
You've got to treat it more like a skateboard, so I was told, less like a scooter. You don't put too much weight and pressure on the handlebars. You just ride it like a skateboard. You ride it side saddle as if I'm a Victorian woman. Oh, yuck, the smell. Come on, Coca-Cola. Buy electric trucks, that thing stinks. The whole thing runs off one thumb control for the accelerator, driving the rear wheel. And for the brake, I've got one control here on the left hand. Now it stops with a mechanical brake on the front wheel and an electrical brake on the rear wheel. This thing's pretty straightforward to use. It's got a speedo that's really easy to read, big display showing you how fast you're going. It shows you your battery level as well. And because it's got 10 inch wheels, or 10 inch tires I should say, it absorbs more bumps than you would expect. It's not as smooth as a bike. A bike's got massive big tires, but for a scooter, it's pretty good. If you've ever ridden one of those lime scootery things that's got smaller tires and less power, this would be a bit of an upgrade. Now I'm going to take a bit of a detour. I'm going to turn left here at the giant vase octopus thing swallowing a mother and child, which is kind of disturbing. And I'm going to go down New Street. Get off the main drag, get away from the noise and the smell of combustion vehicles. This is much better. Why didn't I do this before? I should have got off the main road ages ago and just gone on the side streets. That's a great thing about Auckland. It's got so many side streets. You can really go as the crow flies or you can go exploring. That's what I'm doing right now because why not? This is fantastic. Look at the view. You don't get to see this on the bus or driving a car. You're too busy worrying about being cut off. Oh, the end of the road. But don't worry because I'm going to take Jacob's Ladder. Here we go. I've never been down here in my life. This is fantastic. Just trying to ride nice and slowly, be courteous to other people on the footpath. Oh, ah, okay. All right, there's a, <laughs> all right, I didn't think this through. There's a set of steps. Okay, I guess we're going down. Okay, one great thing about this is that you can easily fold it up. Check this out. All right, and, and there you go. Now, I can carry it. And this is what, 17 kilograms, so it's not so bad. All right, now I can carry it down the stairs. Had I known there were stairs involved, I probably wouldn't have gone this way, but hey, this is part of the adventure. There we go. It's so easy, eh? I love this thing. It's got a little kickstand as well. Check that out. How sweet is that? Okay, let's turn it back on. Okay, we're in drive mode. We're just going unplanned now. I was going to go down that way past West Haven Marina, but now let's just go as the crow flies. At this rate, the way I'm taking my time and going exploring, it's going to end up probably around the same time as the bus. But cost-wise, I think this is going to be just a little bit cheaper than the bus. It's not as smooth as a bike, because a bike has big tires, but for a scooter it's much smoother than I expected, and that's because it's got 10-inch tires, which for a scooter, apparently 10 inches is big. I wouldn't know. Now don't worry if you're a little bit girthier than the average Kiwi because this thing can handle up to 120 kilograms of weight which is basically one British child or half an American and it'll still move quite quickly. It's also almost entirely waterproof. It's weatherproof IP55 rated but parts of it are actually completely waterproof which is great if you live in Auckland and we've had one year of rain in six months here. This is great. I've been set free. I've got like I've done like three kilometers already it's cost almost nothing, and look at the price of petrol! There's got to be a better way than burning expensive petrol fuels to get to your work or home or school. I need a sign! Oh, look at that! That is a sign for Ecotricity. It is New Zealand's only climate positive, certified climate positive power supplier. So if you sign up at ecotricity.co.nz, you can run your house, your car, everything electric off climate positive electricity. Plus, because it's only from wind, hydro and solar, it's so affordable. You might be thinking that climate positive electricity sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's real. It's here in New Zealand and it's Toy2 certified. So you know that that electricity is super clean. In fact, that billboard from Go Media, that's powered off climate positive ecotricity power. If you want to get on that action, go to ecotricity.co.nz. Sign up now. I joined them and I'm a tightwad. That gives you a pretty good endorsement that climate positive power, it's actually stupidly affordable because it's only from wind, hydro and solar. It's cheap to make, it's clean to make, there's no downside. Sign up today, ecotricity.co.nz. I seem to be grinning like an idiot at every other scooter operator. I thought we are supposed to do some sort of secret handshake or a wave or something to acknowledge each other's scooterishnessism. But no, I can't wait to plug this thing in on climate positive power, man. 
Good news, we've made it to Auckland CBD. Now I'm gonna use my stellar sense of direction to find the office. <laughs> it's terrible. I get to see a side of Auckland that I don't get to see in a car or even on a bus. This is great. There's quite a lot of people on the roads here, so it makes sense to take my time and slow down a little bit. This is cool. Why aren't we all doing this? This is like walking enhanced. And these things aren't expensive either. This thing's cheaper than a year on the bus. Well, this is effortless. I'm starting to get a little bit more confident because it's been almost 5Ks now. I'm almost at the Ecotricity offices. And when you're on the roads, on a quiet road like this, it's not daunting, it's not scary. I'm starting to relax into it now. This is, honestly, this is really brilliant. I mean, I wanted to like it, of course. Who wants to make a video about something you're gonna, you know you're gonna hate? Of course I like it. Nice indicating. And we made it. There's the offices right there. Oh, the smell from that diesel, gross. Yes, despite the fumes from those Victorian era combustion vehicles, I made it to the Ecotricity offices in 41 minutes, same time as a bus, but the total cost was about five cents worth of climate positive power. Let's head up to the office and annoy everyone. Like, I can't believe I did this in the same amount of time as a bus, and yet it was so much more fun. What up? <laughs> uh, it can do up to 35 k's an hour. I think the most I probably got up to was probably about 25. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to have a go, I'll film you having a go at uh, getting this up to speed. Do it! Do it! Do go it! On. Do it! <laughs> Alex is going to have a go at uh, going as fast as he can on a flat section. He's younger, so his bones will knit much faster than mine. I think for him it would only be two months in traction, for me it would be six. You just uh, press that, your thumb on that red button and that takes off. Oh. <laughs> that, was a, that was a genuine look of terror just there. <laughs> and he's off. Is that full, full throttle? Oh, far out. <laughs> the look of terror on his face suggests that, yes, wow, that thing really moves. Far out. Then How is it? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. But then I saw a car and got scared. Okay, okay. All right, Hold on. We'll give it a proper go. All right, go on. Try and beat that speed record. So down behind me, Alex is trying to beat his speed record. He got up to twenty-five. He's going to see if he can get close to the top speed of thirty-five k's an hour. Oh, here it comes now. Thirty-one. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. 34 is pretty respectable. 34 is my top speed. That's pretty good. I think that's going with the wind as well. Okay, so as a now a, a high speed record holder, what are your thoughts on the uh, InMotion Air Pro? It's great fun. Going into work would be good too. The wind against your face, it'll wake you up. It's great. Sweet. It feels sturdy, safe. The brake was amazing. Good ride. Awesome source. And that's the basics of the InMotion Air Pro, which made my first electric scooter experience an absolute piece of cake. It's quick, it's clean, it costs just eight cents for a full charge, and as I found out when I returned to Monica Gala Bay in only 24 minutes, if your confidence improves like mine did, then taking this scooter in Auckland's rush hour traffic works out faster than taking a car. So yeah, no surprise, I genuinely liked riding this thing, as did Alex, so I'm sure sure you will too if you win a brand new one. So to enter this giveaway, pivot over to ecotricity.co.nz and you'll see the competition pop up. Then just chuck in your details and that's it. The giveaway is open to all New Zealand residents over 18. You get one entry per person and you don't even need to be an Ecotricity customer to win. So what are you waiting for? Entries close on the 25th of August at 4pm. Good luck!